didn't want to talk about it. I went, off, so I thought I'd better tell you. Yeah, because it wasn't funny. When he did it's talk, April Fool's Day. Yeah. It's our last day at the park. So, that's why I was like, okay, I'm crazy. My mother-in-law just told me that my sister was pregnant. Call your mom. Huh? Yeah, but she's, she's not sleeping. Yet. But she's not because it was an April Fool's joke. Not very funny. So we're making her go to the opposite park today. And to stay away from us. Just kidding. April Fool's. Let's get the, the, the huh? other thing that we're going to do after Roger Rabbit is get the food I get <laughs> for the show. I just left. Right. I love that food. Climb up there. Get up there, man. Climb up that thing. Oh, I hear Donald. I hear him. He came out of that thing. Help! Wait. How do I know talk? I don't know. Let's go to Goofy's. Goofy's! Hi, guys. Going to Goofies. Oh, that one's nice and squishy, huh? Yeah. Shark? What? Oh, the shark is eating his panties. Underwear. Underwear. It is eating his underwear. That's weird. <laughs> Come on, go say hi, Minnie Mouse. Come on, Truthy, go say hi. Go say hi. Go say hi, Minnie Mouse. Oh. Uh oh. Mickey's calling. You're gonna be late for dinner. Or is Mickey gonna be late for dinner? Okay, Truthy. Oh, Truth's like, wait a minute. Cake. What happened to Minnie's cake? What did you do to it? Oh, wow! It reminds me of something. Oh. Hey, can anyone tell me what that is? What is it? No, but what is this thing? It's a TV! Where are your carrots going? What? What happened? Why did the carrots go bye bye? Oh! That's why. Did you see it? Did you see the rabbit? Oh, the carrots are coming back. That's crazy! That's a big bone. Oh, yeah. Cool. Truthy, there's the chickens. Bye bye, ch bye bye chickens. Come on, let's go see this. Guys, what's gonna happen? What? Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Oh, he's wearing his magical hat. That's awesome. Look at all the film reels. Inside, I think this room is real cool. <laughs> love it. I love it too. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of a large group. Uh, so we're not, yeah, I don't want to be with that part of my the family. I just want to be with my family. <laughs> uh, not to mention all the hidden ones too. Hidden Mickey's. Okay, so what do you want to say to your mouse? <laughs> you say, I have lots of nose. Oh, it's oh, Mickey. Oh. He loves you. Uh, hey guys, off of the hey, hey off of the equipment. Can you control your children? Can we Who? take a picture with Mickey? 
Yeah, she what really she should be sitting up there. Okay, now we're going. Gadgets go coaster again. Yep, hands up, Liam. I, they might just be repainting it. <laughs> See you later, Goopy! <laughs> <laughs> Tracy, what have we done? What? What have we done? Um. Did we go to Toontown? Yeah, we went to Toontown and we're on our tour of it two times, I think. Yeah, twice. And then we watched Mickey Magical Map. That's right. And now we're in line to get like turkey legs. Turkey legs. Edelweiss. 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 German. Yeah, but see the W, you gotta change the W to a B. Edelweiss. Edelweiss snacks. Edelweiss snacks. Turkey legs and chimichangas. Just what the Germans eat. Turkey legs and chimichangas. Right. Especially this one. This one's a big baby. Yeah. Welcome aboard, everyone. My name is Carrie, and I'll be your captain and storyteller on board the Feline. For your safety, please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat throughout the voyage. And parents, please supervise your children. Now, while most people journey to enchanted worlds through the pages of a book, those who visit in person often find the way to be magical. Right. Oh, it looks like we're passing through Australia, the giant whale on Pinocchio. We're really being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. Storybook Land, guys! Woo! Look at Storybook. Of course, our story begins with Once Upon a Time. And in this case, a big bad wolf who lives in the cave on our left. He's always after the three little pigs. Luckily, they live across the way in those three little houses. Piper's house of straw, Fiddler's house of sticks, and Paxel's house of wolf proof bricks. But then our story takes a strange turn. For just around the corner is the quaint English village that's home to Alice. One golden afternoon, she followed a white rabbit down, down the rabbit hole into Wonderland, where everything became curiouser and curiouser. Storybook land is full of fantastic places, like London Park on our right, over which went Wendy, John, and Michael Darling, first flew with Peter Pan and Tinkerbell on their way to Neverland, where you never ever have to grow up. Those are some and giant ducks. Agrabah, city of mystery and enchantment, where a street rat named Aladdin bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. Through the power of love and the help of a genie, they now live happily married in the Sultan's Palace atop the hill. These magical places of story that lands are where love shines, like the twinkling heights and the archways above it. The same ones the rat in the chest and soared over, sideways and under, on a magic carpet ride to a whole new world. But while all good stories are full of love and light, they have their dark places too, like the Cave of Wonders just ahead. Its treasure bears a curse that can only be lifted by the genie of the lamp. Legend has it whoever frees the genie will be granted three wishes. <laughs> what would you wish for? A bigger boat. Did I get two first? Oh, it's right.
We're gonna need a bigger boat. Guys, hidden Mickey's up there. No, you don't. Yeah. Still white right waits for a safe place to hide from the evil queen and came upon the cozy forest cottage on our right. It's the home of the seven dwarves who offered her shelter and returned to her kindness. Turning the page to our left, we can see the blue room chateau where Cinderella wished to go to the ball. Her fairy godmother granted that wish, but when she failed to leave by midnight, her coach turned back into a pumpkin and is still there on the bridge. Can I see the pumpkin? All magic has its limits. Thankfully, love does not. And Cinderella now lives with her prince charming in the castle high above. A dream is a wish your heart makes. Some dream of happily ever after, while others dream of drifting off to sleep on hills of quilted flowers, <laughs> like the ones on our left, inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon, Lullaby Land. That's the magic of a bedtime story. Magic is everywhere in storybook land, even in the plants and trees, which are kept small through the enchantment of Tinkerbell. Much like the Lost Boys of Neverland, they'll never grow up. That's just part of what made this place a favorite of master storyteller Walt Disney and continues to inspire new stories. Stories like the wind in the woods, and Mullen Rat's modest home on the water's edge, and Mr. Toad's stately toad hall. But sorry folks, Jay Daddy's toad is at home right now. He's in fantasy land on a wild ride to nowhere in particular. Stories of magic like that of Arendelle beneath the frozen mountains. You can see the ice palace atop the fjord where Queen Elsa fled for fear of hurting someone. But her sister, Princess Anna, refused to let her go. And that act of true love saved the boat. In the Alpine village ahead, the woodcarver Geppetto wished upon a star for his puppet to become a real boy. And after Pinocchio saved him from Monstro, the blue fairy granted that wish. Oh, I almost forgot Wanderingo Oak and Street Post and Sauna. Summer special. Did you hear it? Wishes are a part of so many fairy tales, like the one that inspired a little mermaid named Muriel to follow his spirit to the castle on our right. She gave up what I thought you could see to fulfill the dream of becoming part of our world. Look, it's Squaddle. Muriel had to leave behind her underwater home of Atlantica on our left. Ruled by her father, King Trait, who was against it at first. But in the end, like in all good stories, he thought she and his daughter would meet her happily ever after. And that happy ending is the final piece of our story with magic. So as we return to the dock, please keep your hands rest and fingers inside the boat. It's been a pleasure having you on board. And on behalf of all the storytellers here, we wish you the best on your visit to the sea. Please remain seated until the boat comes to a complete stop. That's one of Mama's favorites. Then favorite. going to count to three. Like and we're all going to stand in the center of the boat for balance. So no one has to go under the sea. Thank you, Carrie. We love you.